Welcome to The Freak Show. Bobby McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up a side project. This is something that I wanted to do over the course of my vacation. I wanted to return to The Last Federation. I did coverage of this game about a year and some change ago, and I found it to be a lot of fun. They've released two DLCs since then. The last one fairly recently, it was Betrayed Hope, and finally, The Lost Technologies. With The Lost Technologies, they released like a complete pack or a complete edition of The Last Federation that you can get the two DLCs bundled with the game for a pretty good price. Anyway, all that being said, Arkham Games has been phenomenal. I, they have a lot of really, really cool games out that I like a lot. Bionic Dudes was a fantastic game. I loved it. I liked The Last Federation. I really enjoy AI War. Fleet Command, I think is what it's called. I'm sorry, guys. I'm drawing a little bit of a blank here. But I really enjoy that game, though I'm absolutely terrible at it. That's why you haven't seen coverage of it. I honestly, I've taken over like two or three systems. I think maybe more than that once, and I just, I don't know, I get wrecked. I, I, maybe I don't understand the basic concept of the game, but all that being said, it's fine. It's a game I really enjoy. Arkin puts out some fantastic games, and I really, really, really like playing them. All that being said, The Lost Technologies came out just recently, and I wanted to do coverage of it. That's what I chose to do for my vacation. So that being said, let's hop in and get started, shall we? All right, taking a look here, I'm going to go with the Advanced Start. I'm not sure that I necessarily need to go with Advanced Start, but I'm going to do it anyway. I've never been a fan of Iron Man, just in case something happens and I have to reload from a certain point. Not because of game issues, but due to stuff happening like real life, whether there's a power outage or something along those lines. Sometimes it'll corrupt a save file. Now, I haven't had a lot of corrupted save files lately on my videos. So, maybe the next game that comes out with Iron Man, maybe I'll choose to go that route. We'll see. We'll see, but for now I'm going to stick with my normal save every episode just in case I have to go back and do something over. Sometimes the audio clips and there's weird buzzing or something, you know, there's a lot of little issues that can come up, so that's why I generally shy away from it, though I still play like I'm in Iron Man. I don't reload the game and go, oh, well that sucked, I did something stupid. I still play it like I'm in Iron Man mode, I just have multiple save points in case something happens either with the game or with the recording. Anyway, I don't want to get long-winded and crazy here. I'm medium at this game. I'm probably not even good, so we'll say normal's probably about as high as I can get. We'll crash land on random, that's fine. We're gonna go with the Lost Technologies. It is the latest DLC, so we're gonna go with that. Our objective here is to research all the technologies available to you before any other race does the same. And before any race takes over the entire solar system. The most advanced technologies confer unimaginable power, but you'll need to snap up all the lesser ones as well. Be careful who you work with to gain a new techs, and potentially rotate around who you work with in order not to boost any one race too much. So that is the play, and there's a few different um, map backgrounds. I'm going to go with the green burst, because green's awesome, and we're going to start at the year zero. Why? Because we can. Alright, all this other stuff, I'm probably going to let it all play. I don't think I'm going to go with permadeath, though I think I said I was going to try permadeath. Uh, I wonder if that's a good idea. Sorry guys, I'm a little sniffly today. Independent betrayal minions only has meaning in betrayal mode. Uh, extra dangerous alliances, members of hostile alliances will never leave their alliance due to hell. Um, I think we're going to, we'll try permadeath, we'll throw that into the mix, how about that? Let's hope I don't do anything silly and ridiculous. I am the last of the murdered race of Hydrals. We took to the stars and shot down the manned launches of everyone else. My countrymen were the dictators of the solar system. So we kind of had it coming. Yes, that is me above, and you are me. This is our story. Alright, two races launched a surprise attack on my people. The first ensured that we were all on the homeworld. The second strapped rockets to a moon and cracked the planet in half. I survived by being on a top-secret radio silence mission. The only people who knew where I was were the aliens who accidentally captured me. Naturally, upon my crash landing at this planet, I was placed in quote-unquote captivity. Having no concept of my strength, my captors never realized that I was merely waiting. I waited for years. My ultimate goal? Completing my mission to acquire all technologies of interest to the Hydral ever conceived by the aliens under our domain. Our destruction has set back progress considerably, but not impossibly so. I must be careful, for while the aliens will be useful, a united solar system is a system united against me. They must not be allowed to federate. Stardate, 
first, first, first one or I proto three thousand. At last, the Peltians or, or the Palatians have. I think it's, I think it's Peltians. Maybe it's Palatians. We'll go with Palatians for now. <laughs> At last, the Palatians have finally gotten themselves into orbit. After spending so much time with me as a peaceful captive, they were ill-prepared for my escape. I have commandeered the first prototype solar fortress, and now the Palatians are in hot pursuit. These pathetic... <laughs> These pathet pathetic fury communists pose no long-term threat. Their space industry must or may be stumbling into a start now, but they will have trouble maintaining momentum. They will hate me for stealing their handiwork, but there are bigger threats in the solar system. Here they come. I outclass this force so severely that it will be almost impossible to lose, so now is a good time to put my ship through its paces. But I still have to be careful. If they manage to take out my ship, I will be just as dead now as later. Alright, welcome to combat. We're gonna avoid most of the tooltips because I played this quite a bit in the past and we'll hope that not too much has changed. Alright, so we have to destroy all flagships, three remaining or dock with the survey platform. Alright, so the game is all turn-based strategy guys, so you gotta do turn-based attacking and whatnot. And normally there are weapons, which it's gonna show you about right now. So if we hover over the different targets here available to us, it looks like these two ships are roughly the same. And apparently the minigun is the weapon that does the most damage to these two. And down here it is the spread shot that does the most damage. I have really bad weapons again. For me. I have a specific grouping of weapons that I like. And this is definitely not the grouping of weapons that I care for. Oh, that is tiny. What is a mass drive? Hurls concussive ordnance that does excellent damage and also blocks incoming shots? Huh. Well, I think I'm going to fly over, oops, in this direction. I have it on, like, auto fire right now. I kind of want to put it onto focus fire, which I believe is here. Fire at selected chips. So I'm going to fire at, I guess, these guys here. And there is a lot of bad juju magumbo going on. We're going to go back to auto fire. We're going to go back to our minigun here. And we're going to let the minigun take out a lot of the little baby ships here. And we're going to do some circling around, killing off, like I said, a lot of the baby ships. These things are missiles that are flying at me, so we have to avoid that. Now this thing will go down to the spread shot, which we are now just about okay to use. We're going to fire at the selected ship. Alright, and here we go. And we just annihilated them real easy there. Alright, we're going to fly back over this way. We're going to use our minigun once again. Oh, well, I guess we're going to use our spread shot once again. My bad. I was planning to use a minigun, but apparently that was not the case. Alright, now we're going to go switch back to the minigun. We're going to just fly through here. I'm trying to avoid some of the missiles and just horrible things flying our way. I don't need to focus fire right now. I mean, we could, and it would work, and it would be sweet, sweet, nice style, but it's okay. Take a look at the top left up here, guys and gals. There is health, and below it is shields. This will all come into play a little bit later on, but for now, we just have to kind of continue floating around murdering stuff, so I shall do that. And unfortunately, like I said, we don't have a shield breaker right now. So we are kind of torn between just circling these guys and doing shield damage. Oh. Flagship power management is now unlocked. All right, guys, I don't need to read this. I can tell you what's going on. All right, so after all that's done, I'll explain it in this next little bit here. All right, so we have the management. And what we can basically do is change any one particular field that we want. Whether we want it to be our weapon systems, our shield systems, or our engine. If we put everything into our engines here, you'll see that we can move for quite a bit further distance than if we, say, took everything out of the engines here. See, now we can only move that much. Same with our shields. Our shields will increase and we'll have more uh, shield recovery. It'll recover faster. It'll have more damage it can absorb. And all sorts of stuff like that there. For the most part, being at a balanced thing is probably your best bet like I said for the most part you don't usually need to do other things there's certain times where you'll need to outrun stuff or you'll need to get away or you need to get back in or you need to just tank up all the stuff has different things that well would benefit you in fact right now what we could probably do is increase our gun strength just a little bit more so we're gonna try that out I'm gonna fly past 
So again, I'm just going to keep shooting at random stuff here. And at some point, I should probably focus fire down. See, it's not really... I'm not focusing enough on what I need to take out. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to switch over to focus fire. And I'm going to take this guy down. And in a couple more shots here, he should go down. The enemy shields are down. All right. And we'll see right now... The mass driver is actually the weapon that will do the most damage. So we'll switch over to that. We will take a couple shots at him, and down he goes. All right, so apparently our minigun is our current best shield blaster here, which we're going to continue to utilize until his shields are officially down and out, and it looks like that is indeed the case. We'll switch over to the mass driver, and done. There's combat, guys. That's how you do it. We didn't take much damage at all. Sure, they hit us with a bunch of stuff, but it didn't take much damage. Anyway, after combat, guys, you can kind of look around, see what you left over. You can scroll around, zoom in, zoom out, whatever the case is. But when you're done, you need to come down here and hit End Combat. And the Palatians lost 10 base power, 23 effective power, and 1 armada in the fighting. Took us 21 turns. Granted, I messed around quite a bit. And we rescued 10 Palatian pilots, or Peltian pilots. I don't, I don't remember which is which, guys. We'll see soon enough. Sweet mother of space sheep! It's the solar map. All right, I'm not gonna explain this yet. All right, we are at Tapio. And this is, as you figured it out, this is the solar system or the galaxy or the system that we're currently in. The only spacefaring group is probably going to be the Peltians right now, which is fine. So I'm probably going to cripple these guys just a little bit here. So, what you can do is you can go to a planet, which is where we're at right now. We're here. It says you are here. And you go down to Hostile Axe. We're not super friendly with these particular guys, so we don't like them. So we're going to be able to do a whole bunch of different bad things to them. Right now, I'm going to recruit an enemy informant. I'm not because I actually don't have enough credits. So instead of doing that, I'm going to attack their local, local armadas right now. And I'm going to take action against them. And we will gain a little bit of influence with the Skylaxians and the Thoraxians. So, let's get to doing that. Foul mother of Red Rash. Just look at all those enemies. About really big battles you probably cannot win. Think you can win this one? Well, maybe you can. Ooh, there's a lot of flagships remaining. This could be somewhat problematic. They seem to be somewhat... Hmm... All right, I'm not 100% certain that we're going to be able to actually do this, but we'll give it a shot. All right, we can go with our mass driver. We're going to... Well, I was going to focus fire, but okay. Didn't actually have to do that. I'm going to try to lure some of these guys away. They seem pretty unhappy with us. If I can take out at least one or two, I think I can... Hmm. There it is, middle mouse button to move. Okay. Like, I think I can move by clicking something. It's not entirely certain. Alright, and enemies will block your shots too, so be aware of that. And so we're going to try to stay kind of at a distance here. And just take out one or two guys if we can. Before we get into a whole crazy chaotic uh, mess. Alright, we're going to switch on over to our mass driver. Take a couple of shots there. Take about one guy. Oh, it looks like this guy might be ready to get murdered. And indeed he was. All right, now we're going to switch back over to auto fire and our minigun, and we're going to take out as many random things firing our way as we can. Unfortunately, we won't be close enough to be able to take any prisoners here. All right, so we're close enough now that we should be able to switch back over to focus fire and focus down on this bad boy right here. I'm going to move on over this way. I'm also going to drop our guns a little bit and increase that just because I feel like... I'd rather have a little bit more balance, just in case things go south. Alright, we have enough damage going there, we can switch over to our mass driver and take him out. I will say, I'm a pretty large fan of the mass driver, I think the thing's doing work. Alright, we shall auto-shoot everything down, there's only six flagships remaining, I think we've got this easily handled. I mean, it's possible that I'm wrong, but I don't believe that I am. We're gonna mass drive that guy into the ground. And we're going to come over here and we're going to focus fire him down with our other weapon. And in hopes that we can take all the way out. Alright, we are now through his 
deal. We're going to use our mass driver once again. We got the shield, and down he goes. Come over here. Once again, rapid fire from our little weapon. And it's starting to get a little bit more crowded if we take a look. So I think once again, I'm going to take this guy out, and then I'm going to use my minigun to just take down the little babies that are pestering me. I think we just got through his shield, so we're going to go for broke here. Actually, we did not get through a shield yet, so we're going to go back here and finish the shield off. You can always hover over to see. His shield's at 50,000, so we're not through it just yet. Our shield is still holding strong. This should put us through a shield. There it is. All right, now Mass Driver to take you out. Excellent. And then we will circle toward this guy. We'll go back to auto fire in our minigun. Just take out everything. We're just going to do a couple of sweeping passes to remove some of the nasty things that are here waiting for us. We'll absorb quite a few things with our shields and whatnot. It's okay. There's not that many things opposing us right now. We're not taking that much damage. A little bit, mind you. We are taking a little bit. All right, we're going to focus fire once again on our compatriot here. Kind of burn through his shield, if at all possible. I believe one more pass should take him out. And there it is. Now we're through his shield. We're going to get in a little bit closer, watch our mass driver tear him to shreds. And down he goes. All right, that leaves him with three remaining things. What is this exactly? This is an emergency response hangar. Taking that out will limit the amount of ships coming our way. Might not be a terrible play. What do we need for that? That is the mass driver. Okay. Well, we're not quite ready for that, so what we're going to do is auto-fire on anything coming within our range right now. Shoot everything we can, and now we should be just about close enough. We're not there yet. All right, now we're pretty close. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fly right through here. And we're going to use our mass driver, and we're going to focus it on the emergency response hangar. We're going to fly right up through here, and again, we're going to keep our focus on that. And how much health does it have left? Let's see. I'm having a hard time deciphering. Give me one sec, guys. Uh, it's almost down, actually. So if we just don't move, we should be okay to finish it. There it is. All right, it's totally down. So now what we need to do is probably double back, I want to say, but that seems super dangerous. So what we should do instead is mass drive that. Hopefully anything else that's within range here. Take out all the emplaced weaponry. And I believe this is going to be the last of them right here. This is the MLRS turret. I don't know what that does exactly. But it sounds like it could be potentially super dangerous to us. Alright, we're going to switch over to our other weapon. We're going to do some auto firing and just start taking stuff out. And that is totally fine. We rescued some pilots there. Not bad. And as you guys know, at any point we could easily finish this off just by focusing down the remaining three. All the gunfire and stuff that's flying our way really doesn't make much of a difference. We've absorbed most of this. These guys are not super powerful. In fact, I think it's time to take out at least one more. I'm actually going to do some weird focusing here. I'm going to focus on a few different guys to lower their shield overall. And I want to take that thing out. And there it is. It's down. Just kind of take everything out that we possibly can along the way. And these things are actually designed not to succumb to these attacks, which is kind of annoying. Alright, and finally we'll take you out. And as you see, you can easily clear things out. You can focus on things. It really depends on what you want to do. Now, I believe the more aircraft that you take out, the more, or the more money you get, the more credits. I'm not sure, though. I'm not 100% certain if that's accurate or not. It may only be the capital ships that we take out we get more. But either way, I'm going to try to do a lot of damage to all of these guys, so it's going to be fun. And this guy is going to be the first one that I actually go to take out here. We just got through his hull, and we're going to switch over to our mass driver and take him out. We go here, this guy's shield should be down, and indeed it is. We're going to loop around, and we're going to take a couple shots on him there with our mass driver, and he survived, basically due to the fact that this guy was in his way. 
All right, we're gonna go over here, shoot, 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 rescue another pilot, and finish the mission. So there it is, folks. Easy, sweet, sweet, nice. And victory is ours, and combat, and special abilities, yay! All right, I'll explain all this stuff to you guys in just a moment's time. We should actually have quite a few things available to us. All right. So, it took us 67 turns. I realized, like I said, I was going slow on purpose. It was a thing. The Peltians lost 20 base power, 46 effective power, 2 armadas in the fighting. We took a total of a whole bunch of shield damage and a tiny bit of hull damage. We killed 168 hostile ships. Or, sorry, there were 168 that participated. We killed 133 of them. We gained credits at three times the normal rate by destroying enemy ships. So 1,555. Eh, it's not a tremendous amount of cash, but it's something. The Skylaxians are now spacefaring. Oh, the Skylaxians. They are an advanced species and disapprove of your race's past actions. However, they may just be the key to forming a federation, as their powers of persuasion over the other races are non-trivial. Indeed they are. All right, so it looks like uh, the Skylaxians just came into spacefaring tech. And they are ready to go. If you guys are ever curious as to how long each of these different groups, like right now the game is paused, however long each of these individual groups will take before they become spacefaring, it tells you right here. Spacefaring tech, 1 hour, 8 minutes, 57 seconds, 1 hour, 47 minutes, 57 seconds, 54, 57, 21, 57, 31, 57. You get the idea, right? So this one's the next one up. These are the Acutions. Yeah, the Acutions. So that being said, we can now customize our flagship, and this is definitely something I want to do. Alright, I do not want the spread shot as my current thing. But it looks like I don't really have a choice. I only have these weapons, which sucks. I want a different weapon. I really, really do. Anyway, we have all these additional things allowed on our vessels now. We have operations and special abilities. Um, Alright, so Operation Glue destroy, uh, deploys a mega sticky bomber as an escort. That sounds interesting. Or Operation 5. We're going to go with Operation 5. A mulligan. Completely swap out your entire selection of abilities. I like that. Protective shield, or sheath, I'm sorry. For 10 turns, no shots from any source do any damage to any ships. That's interesting. Not sure I like that one so much. I gotta say, I'm not... 100% certain that I particularly like this, uh... Like, my ship sucks compared to my last, uh, my last playthrough. When I was playing this on stream, guys, my ship was amazing. I had, like, six operations I could use. It wasn't that many. It was, like, four. It was literally four operations I could use. I had a ton of... I had the, the perfect weapon combination that I really liked. Like, this is terrible for me. I really don't like this at all. Alright, what is, uh, Disabled Gravity Systems? Causes all gravity lance style weapons on all sides to stop functioning for 15 turns. Huh. And then the stunner. I think I'm going to go with the stunner. Uh, stuns all SM and so small and medium ships, yours and your enemies, within an 800 range of your flagship for 10 turns. They continue moving on their current course, but lose the ability to file or fire their guns. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm not, I'm not real thrilled with this. Transfer power... Uh, I think Cloaking Field might be a better one. And I'm not sure about swapping or uh, shifting power. Uh, maybe Afterburner might be okay as well. So we'll go with something like that. Uh, like I said, this is not great. I do not like these particular ones, but that's okay. We'll play around with it and hopefully we'll end up okay eventually. Here's our current inventory. We have uh, some captive pilots from the Peltians. And what we can do with that is, I believe, we can is it click on them right here. Hold on. This is considered a friendly action, but it's not really going to be. Inventory transfer, prisoner exchange. I believe we get credits for this. Oh, we gain voting proxies. That's not what I want. There's one where you can uh, actually exchange it for money. And I'm not sure if that's a hostile act or not. I don't think so. We can recruit a, an informant right now, which is what I'm going to do. Alright, we can raid them for technology, which is what I'd like to do, but... It looks like we've already stolen all the techs that they have, so that doesn't help us right now. Uh, we can do orbital bomb bombing right now, but... Eh, 
I don't really want to do that. I really wish I remember how to Let's see the the collective. You can talk to their government military deals. Attack another race, destroy pirate base. There's no pirate bases right now anyway, so it's not super useful. Trade deals. I think all this stuff is has to do with actually political type stuff, so it doesn't really help us. I guess voting proxies is about the only thing I can gain. I don't feel like that's super useful. Like prisoner exchange here for voting proxies seems kind of silly. I guess we could hire a diplomat. We'll try that one as well, just to see what we can do with it. We can do free return of prisoners, which will gain us a little bit of rep, which I don't want to do. Whatever, we'll just exchange them for the uh, voting proxies. I don't know what that does for us, but whatever. But we have those. We have those. Alright, so that's all well and good. Let's go hop on over to the Skylaxians and see if we can't do something cool with them. We will hire a diplomat for them. Alright, and we can gift them a technology, or we can... I suppose that's probably going to be the best thing that we can do right now. So we'll gift them a technology, something hopefully silly that they don't necessarily need. And that will make them like us a little bit more. We're falling out of the negativeness there. It's going to be a little bit difficult to assist with an armada construction. We need to actually get some money. So what we're going to need to do right now, this will probably be the last thing we do for episode one, guys. I need to get another race into space because they will pay me large quantities of cash. So, enable click to attack. Interesting. Alright, so what we're going to do is probably come over here and get the Acutions into the mix. Yeah, I suppose. Alright, so we're going to go do that. And we're going to do friendly stuff. We'll hire a diplomat. Alright, and we're going to get 14,000 credits for this. We're going to deliver it. Unfortunately, we're going to get caught by the Skylaxians. Well, we might. If caught by Skylaxians, minus 40 influence with the Skylaxians per probe that catches you. Dissemination of space ring tech, now minus 8. Alright, well that's fine. The Acutians will like us if we manage to do it. The Palatians will hate us more. So, we gotta really plan our course here. Alright. So, at this point, we need to basically just get there. Now, the probes seem to have a fairly wide range of stuff. And don't take any hits from their search shots, and don't shoot them, and you should be fine. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to max out our engines. And we're going to make a, a straight shot to that. I'm going to take a look around real quick to see what's out there. These are all palation, palation, palation. If we can avoid the shots from the Skylaxians, we should be good. So we're going to go take our shot. And by our shot, I don't actually mean we're going to fire on anything. What we're going to do is hold fire. And just, like I said, we're going to fly directly toward the place that we need to get to. And if we don't get hit by anything, we should be fine. And there it is. Pod successfully jettisoned with the technical documents. The Acution capitalists are now spacefaring. Extreme caution is advised. These are the same beings that destroyed your home world. If you go by the basic storyline, the Acutians are the ones that destroyed your home world, but since we had a random start, the Acutians aren't the ones who destroyed it. It was the Palatians. So, or I think that's how it works. Something along those lines. Anyway, the black market has appeared on the solar map, and we can now go there and get certain things, and that's totally fine. This might be a new one. There's a lot of stuff you need to do that you can only get on the slide. The black market is where to go. Once you click on the black market, you'll, have, you'll see the above button. That then opens up whatever purchasing and selling options are currently available. I think we can figure out the stuff as we go through. So apparently nobody actually caught us there. We were hit with none of the uh, green bolts of doom. So we actually didn't lose any relationship with anyone. So we got ourselves 14,000 credits, which is a pretty good start. And that is pretty darn good. So, hindsight being what it is, folks, what I should have done before I went and played around with the Palatians, I should have looked around to see who was next up for the spacefaring tech, which it was the Skylaxians that were really close to actually getting it. I should have gone there first and brought them into the fold. 
and then they would have started off with a friendly you know, C plus 30 a friendly influence with me but unfortunately I didn't do that so I've already made one small mistake let's hope I don't make any more we'll see Either way, folks, that's going to do it for this very first episode of The Lost Technologies for The Last Federation. If you guys enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And I, like I said, this is going to be a side project for me. I'm going to be posting videos of this randomly whenever I feel like it. I'm going to have quite a few stored up and done over the course of my vacation. And like I said, I'll be releasing them just whenever I feel like throwing something out there for you guys. Anyway, the game is a lot of fun. Again, Arkin Games puts out a lot of amazing stuff, and I'm a really big fan of their, well, their product in general, so you will definitely see most, if not all, Arkin Games that come out in the future here, assuming that I'm not just absolutely terrible at them, which may be the case. Like I said, AI Wars, I really like, but I'm really terrible at, so I don't really go that route. Either way, guys, until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.